Today I want to show you the power of Informatica solutions through both Informatica Rev and Informatica Cloud. First off I want to show you how a Tableau user can harness the power of proper data preparation and management and bring better data insights to Tableau users using Rev. So to do this I'm going to transition to a marketing and business analyst role for an apparel company. My management has tasked me with understanding our customer buying habits and how they relate to the effectiveness of my company's sales team specifically in regards to the following questions. So the question is, is can I get the necessary data available to be able to generate some insights from this data to help my management answer these questions? So recently I attended an apparel trade show where I was able to get a list of survey results in Excel format with employee questionnaires like how friendly, how knowledgeable, and how helpful our sales team members are. But I realized that the Excel data is not ready to be viewed accurately and effectively and that I need an Excel-like data preparation tool to clean my data before I visualize it in Tableau. Fortunately though, I have Informatica Rev, so I launch Rev and I get started. The first thing I see is that Rev displays all of my projects, my metrics for storage and subscription, as well as how-to videos in case I'm not sure how to do specific functions in Rev. I also notice that I can connect to a Rev community in case I want to reach out to other Rev users. But seeing as how I am a regular Rev user, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to call it Apparel Trade Show. Okay, because that's what I just attended. So right away, Rev gives me the option to be able to import data from multiple different sources. Whether I want to import from files, whether I want to import from applications like Salesforce or Marketo. But most importantly, Rev gives me the ability to be able to access data from multiple different data sources by leveraging the full breadth of the Informatica cloud platform. And so what can happen is a business user such as myself can be able to access any data source from any location as long as it's provisioned by IT. So I can access anything from my Marketo connections, my NetSuite connections to Salesforce, Siebel, etc. But for what I'm doing right now, I'm only interested in the data that I was able to pull out of these files. So I go ahead and I choose my trade show survey results and I import that data. So as the data is loading, right away I can see that I'm getting actionable insights into my data right in Rev. I get an, a data type overview. I also get suggestions like deleting six blank columns. Now, as a business analyst, I don't really need blank columns, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that data because that's not going to help me when I bring it into Tableau. So the next thing I notice is there are things like, are you currently a member? I click on that column and I see that there, it it's in zeros and nos and ones, colons, yeses. And this is not going to help me as a user in Tableau. So what I can do is I can actually split that column out and split that data out into two different columns. And what it will do, it will then give me one column for the zeros and ones and one column for the nos and yeses. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the column that I don't need. So great. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in my master file. This master file has the complete metrics as to how much our customers are spending. So this is the second piece of the puzzle where I can actually compare the two together. And so what I notice right away is I have an opt-in column. I also have a light tent spending amount in store and online. And I also have two blank columns, so I'm going to go ahead and delete those blank columns. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to combine these two data sheets. Fortunately, I can do this very easily in Rev, something that can be very difficult in Excel. So I, through the blending capability, I can combine the two data sheets. And right away, Rev tells me which columns to match upon. It actually says that I should match that the best match is based on the email address. But if I want to change the key and change it to a different column, I can do so. Also, I notice that I have 133 rows that are matching both data sheets. And so I want to do that. I don't care about anything that doesn't match both data sources. So I go ahead and I click Combine. And now my data sheets are completely combined together. Now I feel like I can bring this data into Tableau for analyzation. So I go ahead and I click on Extract and I hit the Tableau Data Extract button. So I export the data out to a TDE. And after doing some analysis on the data and pulling it together, I realize that it's not really in a format that I can use. I notice that there are multiple different questions for the helpful, friendliness, and knowledgeable questions, but it's in a way that isn't really easy for me to view. Also, I noticed that there are multiple ones and yeses, zeros, and nos like I had before. And also, opt-in, the opt-in column has problems as well. I see that there are multiple values where there's false, true, y, and n. 
And that's not really going to help me when I want to be able to understand whether or not I can market to these customers or not. And most importantly, I also noticed that the average lifetime spending amount is completely skewed. So I realized that I need to go back into Rev and I need to fix the data. So I go back into Rev and I look at the first thing that I noticed, the opt-in column. So I click on that column. So just as I noticed in Tableau, I, I have multiple values for the opt-in category. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to change anything that says true to a Y. And I'm going to change anything that says false to an N for no. And same with anything for an F, I'm also going to change to an N as well. So now I have two succinct values in the opt-in column an N or a Y. So now this can make it a lot easier for me to market to those customers. The next thing I notice when I click on the lifetime spending amount is issues in the numeric distribution. I see that there is a wide dispersion of numbers and so I realize that it, there's, a, there's a problem with the top 20%. So I go ahead and I click on that and I see where the issue is right away. I see that the lifetime online spending plus the lifetime in-store spending does not equal 890,000. It actually only equals 890. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that. So after I've changed that, now I have an accurate depiction of how much my customers are spending. I see that I have, um, I can remove the filter, and I have a, an accurate range of $81 to $10,000. So the next thing I want to do is, I, I want to actually validate the email addresses. Because if I want to send follow-up email addresses to any of these customers that gave us lower views, or I want to market specific programs to them, I'm going to want to be able to make sure that I can actually email to valid email addresses. So I click on the email address column and Rev reaches out and I can actually validate all of these email addresses. So I go ahead and I do that. So Rev tells me exactly how many issues I have, the invalid email addresses, the valid and the warnings. And it also gives me specific status descriptions, codes, as well as the reasons why the email addresses aren't end destination. So if I wanted to go ahead and only filter by anything that is a valid email, I could go ahead and I can do so. One other issue I noticed when I was in Tableau was that there was a lack of a question and answer column as dimensions. What if I had an easy way to do this in Rev? Something that is difficult in Excel can be made easy in Rev. I can go ahead and actually unpivot the data. And what it will do is Rev heuristically figures out which column should be unpivoted. And what it does is it tells me right away that 28 different columns should be unpivoted. So what I can do is I can actually go ahead and change that because I know that I actually want to be able to measure the lifetime spending amount versus all of those different questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove any specific column that I don't want to be unpivoted. And if I actually wanted to add additional columns, I could do so by just clicking left to right. So I'm going to hit done. I'm going to hit unpivot. Now I can look over and I see I have one column for my questions and I can actually rename it as such. And I have one column for answers. I can rename that column as such as well. So now after doing all of this different data preparation, now I really do feel like I'm able to move this data into Tableau. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to re-export this data out to a Tableau data extract. Now looking at the data, I can see clear and concise results in Tableau with specific questions and answers and accurate lifetime spending amounts. I can see now that there is a direct correlation between how much our customers are spending versus how friendly, how helpful, and how knowledgeable. And I can do various different things in Tableau in order to really be able to visualize that. In fact, I can put together a full site survey based on what our customers like to do, whether they like, they like to climb more, whether they like to do yoga, etc. What type of outdoor activities they can do. I can also go ahead and I can put together those employee survey results that my management was interested in. And from those results, I can actually figure out that people don't think that we are very helpful, but they do think that we are friendly and knowledgeable. So they, they tend to spend more when we're more friendly. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bring those um, insights back to my management. I can also put together a different list of different customer details. And also, I can market to those specific customers. And now that I know that I've actually validated those email addresses in Rev, 
I can go ahead and market to the right customers that with valid email address. So I take these results to my management and they love what I did. In fact, my management tells me that they want me to repeat the process for future trade shows and updated master analytics files. I know that I can update the finished story in Tableau with updated extracts, but I need to figure out how to update the trade show data and master file in Rev. Luckily, Rev has an amazing recipe functionality that allows me to do such things. So I can go ahead and I can actually click on the sheet recipe and I can see the list of different steps that I took. I can expand out the combination. I can see all the different steps I took. And if I wanted to, I could remove specific steps on the way. And most importantly, I can go ahead and I can refresh from the data sources. Because when you think of a recipe, maybe you think about baking a cake, you need some ingredients and you need to follow a sequence of events. In Rev, the ingredients are the data you pull in and the remainder of the recipe is the steps that you've taken to manipulate that data. Now that management has found a direct correlation between how friendly our team members are versus how much our customers are spending, they have come to me, the application admin, with the results that my analyst coworker found, and they asked me to pull in data directly from our compensation software, Workday, into Tableau. To do this, I log into Informatica Cloud. In order to help fully answer my management's questions, I need to pull data from multiple different data objects in Workday and bring that data into Tableau Server for analysis. I see that I have my commission and worker bonus plan data, but I'm missing the last piece of the puzzle, the bonus plan data. So I create a new data synchronization task in Informatica Cloud and I call it Work Data Tableau Compensation. And I select my insert operation and click next to choose my source. First I need to choose my connection source to Workday. So I choose my connection from Workday Compensation module that I created earlier, but if I wanted to create a new connection on the fly I could do so by clicking new and selecting from a list of different options available in my Informatica Cloud account. Next I choose my source object and I choose my bonus plan data. Here you can see a quick metadata preview of my bonus plan data. And I can preview all columns if I want to. So I click next and I choose my target. Now in this case I'm going to choose my Tableau server connection. But again if I want to create a new connection I can do so on the fly. And now that since I don't have anything out there on Tableau server yet I want to create a new target. So here's where I'm going to choose my, my target. Now, I can pull over all fields. I can pull over only specific fields if I want to. But in this case, I'm going to pull over all of my fields. And I'm going to click OK. And what this is doing is it's actually going to create a Tableau data extract that I can publish to Tableau server later on. So I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to choose my data filters. Now, in this case, I'm going to process all rows. But if I wanted to create a new data filter, I could do so right here by choosing my object and specifying which filters. I can also create advanced filters as well if I want to. I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to choose my field mapping. Now, in this section, I can drag and drop from left to right, and I can pull over my fields. Now, it's auto matched my fields, as you can see here, but if I want to remove specific fields and drag and drop, I can do so very easily and effectively. Also, I can do things like concatenations by just dragging from left to right. And if I want to do more complicated field expressions, I can do so through the different list that Informatica Cloud has to offer. Also, if I want to look up other data sources, I can do so right here. In this case, I'm going to auto-match my fields, and I'm going to click Next. Next section is my scheduling section. Here is where I can schedule it out to run on a regular basis. I can click New and create a new schedule. But in this case, I want to run it right away, so I'm going to click Do Not Run This Task on the Schedule. And the last section is I want to set my advanced target properties. Now, because I want to publish this data out to Tableau Server, I'm going to click on this checkbox. But if I want to append it to an existing data extract, I can, and I can also add it to an existing project or create a new project. So I'm going to click Save and Run. I'm going to publish this data out to Tableau Server. While this is running, I want to take you out to informaticacloud.com slash connectivity where you can look at the list of different connectors available. So I go to my activity monitoring section and I can see that 43 rows are processing and then Informatica Cloud lets me know that 43 rows were successfully imported into Tableau server. So I go to my data sources tab and I refresh and from there I see that my bonus plan data is available out on Tableau server. So now what I can do is I can let my coworker, the business analyst, know that those results are available out on Tableau Server so that they can do some insightful analysis on the compensation structure.
And from there, they're able to find out that based on the results, that our team members are actually compensated based on brand awareness. Even though, if you look at the bonus objectives, there's data out there showing that, they're, that they could be compensated on outrageous customer service as well as helpfulness. And that because, as such, they're not compensated so, we're going to take these results back to our management and let them know so that they can adjust these accordingly. So by using Informatica Rev to clean and combine our survey data and by using Informatica Cloud to bring our bonus data into Tableau Server for analysis, I'm able to fully answer my management's questions so that we can alter the compensation plans and as a result, increase revenue.